Hello everyone, happy drawing day. My name is Kenda and I'm an educator at the Clifford Still Museum in Denver, Colorado. We're a single artist institution that houses, studies, and shares the art of the abstract expressionist painter Clifford Still. Still is most known for his large abstract paintings. He also did a lot of drawing throughout his career and like many artists, he started out drawing the world he saw around him, his environment, his own community. For Still, who grew up in Washington State and parts of rural Alberta, that meant things like landscapes, scenes of farm life, buildings from town. So if you're interested in taking a closer look at any of these drawings or want to explore the rest of the collection, you can visit us virtually at www.cliffordstillmuseum.org. So today, we're going to take a look outside and see what inspiration we can find. Take some time to look out your window, maybe take a walk around your neighborhood. Uh, what do you see? Are you in a city with tall buildings? Are you in a small town with wide streets? Uh, maybe you see mountains or construction, or maybe you're looking at your own backyard. Whatever it is that you see, think about what's unique about where you are. What do you find interesting? Once you've found your inspiration, grab a pencil or whatever materials you like and start drawing. You might end up with a detailed landscape or maybe a sketch of an interesting shadow on the sidewalk. Like many of you, my family has been at home and taking a walk to find some inspiration for this drawing activity was a great way to get outside and see our neighborhood in some new ways. Uh, my second grader's favorite part was taking pictures of things that he thought was interesting. Just getting to have the camera was something that he thought uh, was really fun with this. Uh, I found myself spending a lot more time looking down uh, than I normally do, down at the ground and finding interesting textures and shadows. When we got home, we looked through our pictures and talked about what we had noticed. I had taken pictures of patterns in the dirt, clouds, and a small sculpture on my front porch. I also got a shot of my kids walking down the sidewalk. This was the image that really stuck with me. So I decided to sketch from that photo. So here's my drawing, or at least the start of my drawing. <laughs> so I just used a pencil and a piece of plain paper for this one. On our walk, both my kids were wearing hoodies and walking in front of me. And I really liked the composition of the figures in the frame, but mostly I love the feeling I got when I looked at the picture later. I was just really nice, a nice moment that we got to have together. This is Jasper. He's seven yeah. years old and in second grade. Yeah. Jasper, will you tell us a bit about the drawing you made today? It's the American flag. I could only fit like three red lines, three white lines, and only four stars. And why did you want to draw the American flag? Because I saw it on our walk and it was the only thing on my mind and it's really interesting to me. <laughs> okay. Three was, reasons. You saw it on our walk. It was the thing you remembered and it was really interesting to you. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Jasper. And I uh, love it. And this is Evan. She's 12 years old and in sixth grade. Evan, would you tell us a bit about what you made? It's upside down. <laughs> um, I drew grass. And why did you decide to draw grass? Um, because it looked pretty and it was soft. It looked pretty and it was soft? Yeah. Was something you noticed <laughs> on your walk? Yeah. Anything else you want to share about it? made out of oil pastel. Yeah, you did something a little different than mine, right? I just used pencil, but you've got oil pastel in here. Yeah. Right. Thanks, Evan. Thank you so much for joining us today. Share your drawings with us at hashtag drawing day and hashtag still inspired. I can't wait to see your drawings.